I'm Tamara Sakia, medical oncologist from Todua Clinic, Tbilisi, Georgia. Uh, sexual health is an uh, important aspect for the patients with breast cancer, although unfortunately this issue is uh, not uh, often addressed. Uh, so we decided to uh, investigate uh, sexual health in uh, premenopausal early breast cancer patients, hormone positive, HER2 positive or negative. Um, uh, who were treated with ovarian function uh, suppression with LHRH or oophorectomy. Uh, we uh, uh, surveyed all the patients with uh, URTC QLQ BR45 questionnaire uh, during their uh, visits uh, at the clinic. Uh, we were planning to enroll 100 patients, but only 34 patients uh, consented to uh, fill in the questionnaire. Uh, this highlights uh, the problem that uh, patients with breast cancer in Georgia are not ready to address their sexual issues. Uh, what uh, uh, we saw, uh, the questionnaire uh, in included uh, functional and symptom scales, uh, and uh, what we saw uh, uh, was that uh, the functional score more than uh, 60 was seen uh, predominantly uh, in uh, patients who uh, had uh, LH, RH agonists, and uh, uh, S score uh, less than 40 uh, was uh, also seen uh, with higher percentage in patients who had um, LHRH agonists, uh, indicating a higher quality of life uh, in this uh, group. Um, also, we uh, could not account um, uh, for the uh, other, uh, for the contribution of the other variables uh, that may affect uh, sexual health, like surgery and chemotherapy, uh, our data, uh, even with the small numbers, uh, suggests that LHRH uh, agonists uh, may have lesser li risk for the sexual health for the breast cancer patients. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.